down the hammer and pick up the pencil. You're about to listen to the Savvy Radio Show. Learn from real life real estate investors, experience revealed with the Savvy Landlord as your host. Hello ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, yes, the side hustle. First of all, I got to give mad shouts out to the people that are bold enough to email me, text me, Facebook me, and share a lot of these ideas. And some of this stuff comes from inspiration. Some of this stuff comes from, I have no idea, but I know that there's a chord that's been struck by the side hustle. A lot of people are trapped in their job. They want to be a real estate investor or they want to have passive investments, which is what I recommend, but they don't know how to do it. They're trapped. They're not enough money at the end of the month. And so the side hustle has been kind of a popular thing. And so I'm excited to to people just that they're they're excited that they listen to this podcast in general it makes me just just thankful that I'm able to inspire people and folks I do this for you I'm not getting paid so you know I can I can think of a thousand of the things I could be doing right now but um, I'm honored to be uh, your host and guide in life mentor mentee I, I I learn from you guys as much as you learn from me and I think that's what society should be peer to peer and enough of that jazz so let's get rolling episode number 261 261 times i hit record and died on a microphone you've heard me sneeze cough and all the other of above but we're gonna break down episode number 261 part nine side hustle to buy assets so you could do more if you uh like this one you might want to check out Episode 127, 132, 141, 146, 150, 216, 232, 241, which was bomb, dude making 20 G's. You can check that one out. But enough of all that. Those are those old episodes. We're on the new number nine. I'm, I think I'm going to go big on number 10. <clears throat> I haven't thought about it yet, but if you if you got something good out there, let me know. Number one, computer repair. I, I, I fell in, in the grips of this guy, my tech wizard. Keith, you know, he's all Mr. Humble or I don't know what's wrong with that guy. But this dude charges one hundred twenty five dollars for I.T. I'm like, what? One twenty five. And you you sitting here with me hanging out with me. I'm like, one twenty five. Dude, you need to work like nonstop for three days and go buy a crib. I don't know. Work nonstop for two weeks for and to go buy a crib. He is in such demand for I.T. He bills at one twenty five an hour. Fabulous. And so I was like, dude, you could do that. And the guy touched my computer and made it better. And I'm just thankful for that. I respect tech. I love tech. I used to be one of those dudes. But number one, right out the gate, make it $125 on the weekend on the side. Re- redo someone's windows. It crashes. Redo. Uh, put in a hard drive for an older lady. Do phone repair. Do something. But $125 sounds gravy to me. You should do that episode i mean uh side hustle number one all right side hustle number two a little cheesy but hey i was in mexico chilling at a mexican restaurant and bang bang mexican mariachi band rolled up and i mean i had to tip that dude i'm like i'm thinking he went from table to table you know five ten some people are og with the 20 i mean he probably made a couple hundred dollars just him and his little partner made a couple hundred dollars in probably a couple hours off amazing chain i was at another mexican restaurant if you don't know that by now i like mexican restaurants this is what i do i'm married to a mexican that's what i am i'm 10 percent mexican graduated in that deal yes i could say it it don't matter i'm 100 something else but i'm gonna say i'm 10 percent mexican anyway so do balloons i was at a mexican restaurant for real dude was there it was a sunday afternoon it was with my with my child and you know i had to buy a balloon couple dollars dude made a whole bunch of balloons you know you make them into a little dog make them into a little swords you can do it for real like go to amazon balloon decor balloon something crafty i don't know type in balloon animal and you will find a kit a youtube video and there's no excuse why you don't have enough money to buy assets right there you know how to play the guitar i don't i can strum that deal you can make you can you got air in your lungs you can blow a balloon three street performer back to the mexico 
these I'm telling you, I was in Mexico. It was like side hustle on fire. Everywhere I looked, somebody from 80 years old was was <clears throat> broken leg, no money, making money on the side, selling trinkets from hair stuff to bubble gum to cotton candy. For real. Like I'm like these people we're over here on the sideline, on, uh, you know, getting a handout in the United States of America. And this 80 year old lady can barely walk, got a stick full of of cotton candy. And then I turned to the left and I saw some break dancers. I was like, oh, shucks. 80s got the little thing. What is that? And I was talking to this boat out dude. He's like, man, I need to break dance and get in shape. These cats were like had six packs, oh, like standing on their heads. Make, and people were making the money. And you can and you get paid to build your body. You get paid to burn some calories. Number three, be a street performer. No joke. Number four, embroidery. I'm telling you, this stuff comes out of nowhere. But man, my embroidery guy burned me. Like he stung me. Like, come on. He got me on the embroidery. All these fees, digitizing fee, uh, set up fee. What that's the same thing, mother. Uh, then it was like ten dollars an item <clears throat> to embroider. Then you got to buy the certain stuff through them, like a thirty, like a ten dollar windbreaker, thirty dollars. So let me get this straight, homie. It costs you a dollar to embroider this damn thing, and you just made ten dollars off the embroidery, twenty dollars off the jacket, probably, you know, probably twenty five. Embroidery. Let me tell you, I ran into some folks the other day getting some embroidery done. For the full throttle investor, if you don't know about that, you got to ask me about the full throttle investor 2017. I'm rolling out the full throttle investor. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm weird psycho. I had to get some embroidery done. These people had a sweatshop in their in their living room with a Toyota embroidery machine. Now, I know that costs thousands of dollars. I know that you can find an embroidery machine on on Craigslist for a couple hundred dollars. But let's just say you can embroider out, broker out embroidery. This embroidery company is giving me embroidery at cost and they know that I'm a broker and that I could sell it for more. Why can't you build a relationship with a sweatshop yourself at the local on the south side of Oklahoma City? There's a sweatshop. I'm not saying sweatshop to be derogatory, but I'm just saying these older folks are cranking out some embroidery and you can broker that out. Set up a website for free on Weebly. I do embroidery. I get it done half the cost of everybody else you can go get it digitized on fiverr do the logo next thing you know you can make a couple hundred dollars doing in some embroidery saving some people some money and blessing people just by being an embroiderer how you like those numbers oh well, i'm going i'm going juicy on number nine part nine side hustle number five ice cream truck for real ice cream truck my boy brian telos slapped me up on facebook <clears throat> took a picture of out there in like 40 degree weather man's out there hustling grinding it out with an ice cream truck and then i was like yeah you don't have to have a little sound you can have a cart that's right i was on the south side one time and some hispanic cat was pushing a little ice cream cart selling ice cream ding and ding and ding i mean that 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 can't be expensive go to sam's twenty dollars get a cooler throw some ice cream cones in there you get them for 10 cents 20 30 cents a piece sell them for two bucks walk down the street make money number six <clears throat> gotta give love to david torres what up new mexico hot shot truck so he sends me a picture of a truck and trailer with a bunch of um axles on there i'm like what is this dude trying to tell me he's like side hustle and i was like you are right that is a side hustle you could take your vehicle and do hot shot driving People need to pull mechanic. I know a guy in Lawton, Oklahoma, that that's all they do is hot shot oil, gas, parts. Take one, you know, there's an oil field in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, and they need a pump from Oklahoma City. Somebody made $1,000 to hot shot that up to, up to there. So Google up hot shot driver, be a hot shot driver. Oh, you like Van Camber, I got no car. That's okay. You can go lease a truck. I bet you you can go out, advertise that you're a hot shot truck driver only on the weekends. You could do that. Stay at your, this is a side hustle. Get, get enough contracts in place that you can deliver guaranteed delivery and then go get a lease on a truck and use those receivables as a 
way to get financing for your new lease truck. You can get a brand new truck that you just sit in, listening to the Savvy Radio Show, doing your thing. Then you can get a mentor to roll, you know, your wife, your, your significant other, whoever, riding shotgun with you. You can grow together. Right now, one of y'all can be taking notes. One of y'all can be driving. You'd be like, man, I got to hit up the Van Kallenberg on the Savvy Radio Show. I got another side hustle. That's right. You can get paid to take notes. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Number seven, for real, for real, for real, for real, operate a U-Haul business. Now, Van Kallenberg, you just went ballistic. That's right. I did. If you have a place to park a U-Haul, then you can own a dealership. <laughs> I'm serious. U-Haul is rolling out new kiosks that are making it practically a dealership anywhere without on-site management. Seriously, you have a garage, you have not even a garage, you have a lot, you can throw down a U-Haul and automatically make money. So don't just shoot it down because you think a U-Haul is huge. Google it up, U-Haul, new dealership, own a dealership on one of your vacant lands or you know your driveway, somewhere. Here's another one. Number eight, add storage units. Okay, seriously, there's real estate investors that do this. It's amazing. Get a temporary building, a Kojak building, or the metal building. You slap it down on the backyard, and you charge the tenant another $50. Cost you 600 bucks, maybe $1,000 for a storage unit. Within a year, you're making money, or a year and a half, you got all your money back. Make sure you got to deal with the landlord-tenant laws, and don't mix the two, and blah 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 but hey there's there's somebody that needs storage and I, I got this from thomas morgan yesterday he a friend of his has a rv thomas had some land out there in chattanooga for 50 dollars a month he could store his rv in the back of this dude's property not only that thomas is side hustle extraordinaire thomas said i'll help you go pick it up so it was a broken down rv like a travel trailer the guy paid him, paid Thomas $50 to go pick up this broken down travel trailer. Thomas drove it to his property, dropped that mess in the back, and is collecting another $50 a month. So he made $50 for his time. There you go, G. $50 for 30 minutes. Bam. $100 an hour. You add that mess up. What's your time worth? $600 a year. Just by looking at an eyesore, you probably set it parking in the back where you can't see it. Number nine. Now, sell, grow, crops. All right, now, you, all you weed heads out there, you shouldn't be smoking weed. Let me just tell you, you should be reading. But if you are inclined to, to grow things, which I am not a green thumb, but you can advertise, say that you sell crops, grow crops, and it's it's easy. And if you got sun anywhere, you can sell what you're growing. How's that? You could be green and make money at the same time. I know that's a little stretch, but it's the ninth episode Number nine. Anyway, hopefully you're doing good. My name is Stephen Van Camber, the Savvy Landlord. You listen to the Savvy Radio Show. We got some good things coming up in the future. Keep tuning in. Subscribe. I would love for a review that would help other people that are even thinking about it. Other than that, go buy assets. Go bless somebody. Take care. Investor Weekend is not far off. With over 10 information sessions to increase your portfolio, log on to www.investorweekend.com. Whether you are a seasoned investor or never purchased a property before, you don't want to miss the Investor Weekend. Join us for a powerful, knowledge-packed weekend with over 10 informational sessions that are bound to enlarge your real estate investments. You will hear from the best national and local real estate investors that will share practical and relevant experiences with you, the investor. There will be several networking sessions to connect with other like-minded people for potential funding, partnerships, and yes, hot deals. Go to www.investorweekend.com. Did you know we meet once a month for the Landlord Lunch Meeting? The third Wednesday of every month, go to landlordlunch.com. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets.